Back to weather we go. Tim, what's going on in the tropics right now? Yeah, you know, we still got Larry out there. It's been around for about eight days, and it's still a major hurricane, Category 3. Not much change in its overall intensity, at least the last four days. It's capped at a Category 3, way out in the Atlantic, not impacting anybody. And it looks a little bit more unorganized than, say, it did just yesterday. Off to the north, you can see the center of that eye not as cleared out as it was just 24 hours ago. It underwent a series of eyewall replacement cycles, but it's not looking like it's going to gain much strength as it goes forward. Lifting to the north as a category two still winds well over 100 miles an hour, and that wind field is expanding in size as it gains latitude. So even though it's passing to the east of Bermuda, likely still going to bring with it some winds and, of course, some rough waves that are actually going to hit the eastern seaboard within the next few days if they're not already arriving there. Aside from Larry, overall, it's pretty quiet. There's one tropical wave here, and this is Invest 91L. Not much change in the forecast on this either 10% chance of development within the next two days 30% within the next five. Right now, it's a very broad wave sitting over the middle of the Gulf of Mexico. Marginally conducive area, environmental conditions for it to develop. And as it drifts to the north, northeast, it'll likely bring some very heavy rain to the Big Bend area of Florida and scoot well east of our area. On satellite imagery, it looks a little bit more impressive than it did yesterday. Some more flare up of some convection and heavy downpours in the middle of the Gulf. And the models do take it generally off to the north, northeast. Still struggling with where exactly it is because we don't have a closed center of circulation just yet but it's likely going to move north, run into that boundary that brought us our rain yesterday, help to enhance the rainfall and spread it out as we go into the central Gulf Coast by later on this week into the weekend. So here, hot but not as humid for the next few days, a dry pattern through the weekend, and aside from Larry, as you just saw, the tropics are quiet despite getting very close to the peak of the season. Temperatures this lunch hour in the upper 80s to around 90, but the best part is it actually feels like it's reading on the thermometer. Dew points are nice and low in the 60s right now. We can thank a northeasterly breeze bringing in some drier air to the region. Look at Hobby's dew point at 57. I don't remember the last time we had dew points that low across the area. Future track doesn't show hardly anything going on. Dry conditions today, dry conditions again tomorrow, and that'll play on out through the rest of the week. There's your seven day forecast. A lot of sunshine, but eventually getting very hot, especially for almost the middle of September. Mid to upper 90s Thursday Friday and even into this upcoming weekend, rain chances start to scoop back up by the early parts of next week. Steph? All right, Tim, I've never seen someone so excited about dew points. <laughs> we will take that.